Now we're going to pull the turkey up on its head, and you're going to liberally season the inside, all right, all over. You need a good amount. We're also going to put a handful of the mirepoix, not a lot, just a handful. And then we're going to stuff some rosemary and sage in there also. And it's going to make for a very aromatic turkey, kind of flavored from the inside. Then we're going to tie the legs together with some string. You can use unflavored floss. All right, don't use the minty fresh kind, but any kind of floss will work. All right, so that's the inside done. Now, for the outside, I'm going to go and I'm going to loosen the skin on the top of the breast. Now, you can start it with your fingers. What I like to do is take a, a thin rubber spatula. It has to be something that's dull, okay, because it, a metal object might tear through the skin. The skin's very tough. The sharp edge will poke through. They want as many dead people as possible. And of course, Iraq, the former land of Sumer and Babylon, um, has enormous significance to these people because they go back to that period and that, uh, that area of, of Babylon, etc. In fact, we, what we're seeing now is global Babylon when you, when you, you, you look at the symbolism of, of Babylon. Um, and, and, and for them to kill all those people there, it is a mass 
ritual sacrifice. Say that the cheetah wool fatten on the energy that we human beings give them. They make us to fight each other, and when the whole land is drowning in death and fear and terror, when hundreds and hundreds of people are angry and afraid. The cheetah will get fat because they eat that, that what we call the dark power, which is brought about when human beings destroy the planet on which they live. The yes, sir. Very, very intense human emotion. as instruments for the destruction of our own species? I say yes. Um, and, and these gods, um, as they're perceived, um, feed off human energy. They feed off low vibrational human energy, low vibrational emotional energy, all around based on fear. Fear, stress, hatred, guilt, all these things, these low vibrational emotions. And um, uh, another way they feed off human energy is by um, human sacrifice. What they do in the, in the sacrifice is um, they'll uh, have the victim and they go through this ritual and uh, they build up the ritual to gain maximum terror from the victim. So now there's uh, tremendous energy, not just a fear, but an absolute terror. Um, and then at the point of sacrifice, that energy is released massively. And these gods that are operating um, just outside human sight feed off that energy because it, that terror, that low vibrational energy represents the energy field that, that, that they are vibrating to. And therefore they can absorb that energy. They can't absorb the, the, uh, the higher dimension energies. They have to have low vibrational energies. Look at society. It's structured to create massive fear, stress, all these things for the population. And it's feeding uh, these, quote, uh, gods. The other thing that happens in these rituals from the human level, physical level participants, is that there is a point where the victim uh, is, is uh, in a state of such extreme terror that a certain adrenaline enters the bloodstream. It's not even a normal adrenaline that comes from danger. It's, a, it's an, an adrenaline that comes from sheer uh, unbridled terror. And that enters the bloodstream at the point of sacrifice. And then these, these, these sick people drink the blood because it, it's got that adrenaline in it and it gives them this rush.